guys welcome to my new whip <laughs> um oh sorry I did not mean to honk at that little girl um so yeah just to let you guys know um or clearly as you can see I have packed up my current apartment police reported ahead police reported ahead let's put the phone in here then um, so yeah, for those of you that are just tuning in, oh, and the police has someone pulled over. For those of you that are just tuning into my channel, um, pretty much I'm going back to being a cabin attendant. Um, and with that, I have a new base, which is the place that I must live out of um, for this company. Uh, and I just honestly, ooh. I just moved here a few months ago so I'm having to break my lease um, I'm having to relocate all that jazz but it's for the better the better of a new chapter of a new beginning um, and I'm sorry that a lot of you have been telling me like you haven't been vlogging anything and trying to keep us up on your journey and I should have vlogged um, me packing everything this morning I will turn back this morning I woke up and Dre had woke up at 5 in the morning and he honestly like Mr. Fitness packed the whole truck pretty much by himself he we were on, we we're on the third on the third story with no elevator so the dang thing this morning my little strong man He's been packing up the truck. I had to help him with the sofa, so go me. Um, but other than that, everything is all packed up. Um, I'm, we're actually parking his car somewhere right now because I'm we're driving to our new place, but then he's flying back to finish tying up some loose ends with like business and stuff. You know, sometimes. I got a new job and I'm relocating for my job but he doesn't want to burn any bridges and things like that so he needs some time um, to just cut like just you know transition for him he'll probably need like an extra week so he's gonna fly back here get the car and then drive back so we're parking his car somewhere right now so I'm heading to go pick him up and then we are heading to our new location in this truck which is crazy because I, I I was like sitting here and driving and I'm like I don't think I want to vlog this but then like sitting back like reflecting on the fact that we were living in Philly when I had my BBL and I was moving I was in the process of moving so I had my BBL I had my BBL and then I moved um, the following week after having my BBL. So I was like not even really able to like help him do anything when we were moving from Philly to Florida. Um, and that was just a few months ago. We moved here and things been good. I love I love our I loved our apartment. Um, it was beautiful. But, you know, sometimes things, you know, it's crazy. Like, we just moved here, and Dre kept saying, like, he's like, you can, you can feel it in your gut when you know, like, this is just, like, a transitional place, not, like, a place you're going to make your stomping grounds. Um, and I was, like, being supportive that he was coming here to handle business, um, but I didn't have anything planned for myself I was just going with the flow because that's what Aquarius does um, but look at that a few months later I got the job I've been wanting and now I had to move. we both are moving to somewhere we've both wanted to live for a long time so I'm just I guess voicing this to let you guys know like if you're being hesitant about the final picture sometimes you're not going to get the final picture 
right in front of you. You got to take little steps to get you there. So me taking this step to be where I'm here now, I'm a lot closer to where I have to move to, which is really good. Um, so it's only a five hour drive compared to if I would have stayed in Philly, we would have had a freaking long drive. Um, so yeah, sometimes it's just good to take little steps. I know some of my friends are like, oh my God, girl, you just move so much. You can't sit still. And then I have people also that are like, girl, you're people that are like, you're inspiring me to just, you know, put my foot down. And after my BBL, y'all know I've been out here trying to like take my life back and it's just been more of a mental a uh, mental confidence booster for me like I've just been like before I felt like I had gained so much weight my confidence was at an all-time low my self-esteem had just like bleh. and now it hasn't been even more of like oh I'm a bad that and I look good and all this stuff it's been more of like I got my life back like now I could do anything that I want to do anything that I want to that I put my mind to it I, like I can do it I have one life and I need to make these days count so your girl is excited for this new chapter um, I'm excited I didn't show you guys me packing the old place up and Dre sweating going up and down the three flights of stairs to get everything in this to the moving truck but I will show you guys our new place because it is so beautiful we won't have to go up three flights of stairs because we have an elevator and yeah it's so amazing are y'all excited I'm excited and I want you guys to get excited about your own life also and if you're just in a funk and you're feeling like you need to change and time something needs to happen don't think about like what's going to happen after the equal sign of the equation. Start thinking about like what comes after the plus. So like do this plus this plus this plus this will eventually give you your final result. Don't try to think things don't happen overnight. Like it's baby steps. Baby steps. Some of us need baby steps in order to fly, okay? And some of us need baby steps in order to crawl. As long as you're taking baby steps, uh, you'll gather a little bit of happiness during each step I assure you all right I am here to pick up Dre I finally I'm here I don't know how the heck I'm supposed to do a u-turn with this truck guys clearly by the look of my hair we've been on this road now for some time Driver. What and, is up? And it hasn't been that bad, y'all. 